Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? And if you're not new here, then you already know the routine. But before we jump into our routine, if you're new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so that you'll be notified when I pop up on your screen because um yeah we're on an adventure and the adventure is called it's always sunny in philadelphia right now we are on season three yes we made it to season three you guys yeah that was like my whole crowd scream and we are on episode one so i'm actually shooketh that we're already at three like you guys, you guys been with me for three, well, two seasons now. Hop on the board for season three. But without further ado, let's get started because I'm excited. The end of the world, Dean. Inconvenient truth is not about the end of the world. It is about how if we don't stop global warming, we are going to destroy this environment. I think it sounds cool. I'll check it out. It is. It's awesome. Dude. Wow. Oh, what the hell is that? What? Are you kidding me? Just litter. What is the big deal, Dennis? What is the big deal? Are you nuts? It's like you see a movie and now you're crazy about the environment. Oh, I would like to make a difference. Oh, you, Ooh. Like, oh, yes. you wanna do yes. good? Yes, I do good. You're not good at that. I can do good. Dennis, you are a good person. You are making a Holy shit. What? What? There's a baby in this dumpster. Oh! <gasps> Before we get into it, I just thought of this. This just came into my noggin. But I was like, imagine back in the day, like when you used to like have your own setup ringtone. I feel like in today's world, if we had it back then, I'd have this as my ringtone. What the hell is it doing? Oh, would you be Call somebody. Who? The police? The mother? I mean, think D. Somebody threw this baby in the trash. You don't want to carry your big gulp anymore? Just throw it in the street. You don't want to take care of your baby anymore? Throw it in a dumpster. <gasps> I'm telling you, I am not your father. Then take enough. a stupid I, blood I'm test. I'm not taking no it's blood so test. It's so easy. I, look, I had enough of this. I'm, well, put it back. It doesn't belong to you. Huh? Put it back? Put it back? Put it back. Cops, get it out of here. It's bad for business. It's time we started taking responsibility for the refuse we're creating. Oh my god, dude. Are you still harping on that stupid global heating movie you saw? Global warming, Charlie. Environment for a child. I will take care of the dumpster baby until we figure out what to do with it. D, you're helping me. What? No, I'm not. Family values in this country are going down the toilet. I'm actually really shocked that Mac is the one that's, in a sense, volunteering to take care of this baby. It's because of people like you. It's all your fault. Are you happy, D? Is this what you wanted? You just gave this baby full-blown AIDS. What are they what are these doing, dude? They're activists, Charlie. They're sifting through the trash looking for recyclable materials. You see, he has no problem not calling me dad. I get one of those recycled bags. Get lost, narc. I'm not a cop, man. I just want to help out. <laughs> sure you do. Oh, you're tied. Straight edge, mainline, weekend warrior coming down here in your cashmere sweater with your moosed up hair sprayed cloth. Harley, what the freak elite? Can you believe this thing, man? It's a... It is. Bro, you could chop a camel right in the hump and drink all of its milk right out right off the tip of this thing. Man. Oh, what the mean? freak? You're out here trying to make a difference, and you're over here rummaging around in the trash like a couple of narcs. What are you, are you saying, man? Did you, you even look at this? I, I don't know. I think I just got punked out by a couple of hippies. Dumpster baby's heavy. No, no, it's good for your back. All right, so we got the diapers and the wipes and the powder. Shit, this raising babies is easy, huh? First, the baby smells like trash, right? Huh? Throw it in the bath. I'm just going to kick back, grab a beer, and watch the Sixers, all right? Why is he acting like they're a couple? Uh, so, when you're done with the bath, why don't you go out and get some beer? And, um... Pack of smokes would be good. A couple of days until we figure out what else to do with it. Really? Yes. You're gonna raise your voice to me right now? I'm not raising <gasps> my voice. Well, I think we need some space. I'm gonna go out with the guys and blow up some steam. What? You're just gonna dump this thing on me and leave? I'm not gonna stand here and be berated. I'm oh. gonna go. Guys, Charlie, would you just please lay there? Why is Charlie and Frank in the same bed? Not your father. Now go to sleep. Dude, it's not that. I'm thinking about something completely different. I'm just going nuts thinking about what else is out there. Frank, this ordinary guy's just like you and me they going through everyone else's trash. Oh, people don't appreciate their trash. I'm to death. So I regurgitate my lunch and I nourish the entire oh. flock. What about what Sage. you said? And I think you were right, man. I was half assing it, but I'm not going to half ass it anymore. <laughs> Means you're a total poser. Man, uh, I'm just going to go then, I guess. I'll take my Birkenstocks and my fish t-shirt and my kind bud with me. What? 
What's that? What's that? What's that? It's another coat, man. Oh, can I have it? <laughs> no. Well, you already got one. Frank, use your head. This is the coat that's going to protect my other coat. They are really out here dumpster diving. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Huh? Oh, hello. Look who it is, huh? The girl who ruined my life. And gross to you. And you know what? I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to know. Go and do it in somebody else's dumpster. Yeah, what do you got in those? Coffee cups and food scraps. Hand them over. Why? Oh, you know, raising a child is not nearly as fun as I thought it'd be. Well, what if we put it back where we found it? What's his name? Uh, his name it's is D.B. D.B. <laughs> An idea. I'm three steps ahead of you. We need to make Dumpster Baby a star. Exactly. Have better lives than child stars. Nobody. Nobody. Rich, famous, they have it all. Be my main man. You got tossed into the right dumpster. I cannot with him. Oh. Can you make DB a star? Well, I'm sorry to say, but the Latino market is the fastest growing demographic in the country. Great. Oh so my Mexicans gosh. are selling. Oh, well, DB can play Mexican. Yeah. DB's a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> Dip the chips into the nacho it's cheese. Uh -uh. It's hilarious. Perfect. For all we know, he is Mexican. Come on, yeah, guys, no. it isn't me. I'm I mean, sorry, I don't think but it your is. son just does not look Latino. Oh, well, is there anything that we can do? Well, not unless you can change the color of this baby's skin. Straight. You want to put your baby into a tanning. Bed. Oh, my God. That's correct. Why is he so orange? That's the law. Look, pal, we are well aware of the law. Sign whatever waivers or whatever you need us to do. So let us cook them for a couple of minutes and we'll be out of your hair. I am feeling compelled to call the authorities. Could have helped change this child's life forever. You chose mm -hmm. not to. That's on you. I can live with that. These are people too! Save this dream! Azriel, can we commune for a moment? Yeah, what's up? Well, listen, I don't want to be putting out any negative vibrations or anything like that, but I think we're going about this the wrong way. So Ooh. I'm thinking I would chain myself to that tree. And that way, if they want to kill that tree, they got to kill me first. Anyone is going to chain themselves to anything, it's going to be me. Maybe it should be him. Right. I'm the one in charge here. Right, you're the one in charge. Right. We got to keep oh. it moving, Frank Mark. Oh, do not lose that. Do Get not lose that. Time for that, Gotta man. drop some stuff more. All right, fine, we'll make it quick. We should get rid of some of this shit. What? Oh, my gosh. They went from dumpster diving to becoming hoarders. Look at his apartment. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Huh? Yeah. What? This, this. Look at that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This shit is our future, man. You're right. You're right. Where are we going to sleep? Uh, uh. What it's all about. Me and my girl side by side. Saving a life. Have seen Azrael? No. Open your mouth. Stole his girl. We gotta stick together, Frank, if we're gonna make you yeah, stick together, Charlie. Why are they acting like they're homeless? Like they don't have nowhere to go. Like take your butts back to the apartment and throw all that out. Yeah. No. I'm really sorry that I banged you, girl. Ah, oh, bro, you gotta stop talking about that, dude. That I am not your dad. Dude, how can he be 100% positive, dude? How do you know? He might just be his dad. Your mother and I. Look, they have so much in common at this point. They might just, he might just oh, be his dad. After we made love, she did get pregnant. Your mother was a giant whore. Oh, you know what, dude? I don't believe you, Frank, all right? Just, oh, my God. No, wait, all right. You didn't have an abortion. You just told him you did. I get that. No, I had an abortion. It just didn't take. You survived it. You survived the abortion. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about, Mom? Three months later. I never later? wanted the abortion in the first place, but he was married, and I knew if he found out, it would have forced me to get rid of you once and for all. Oh my! So Frank God. is his father. But then Frank is his dad, and Dennis and D are his brother and sister, right? Is it polish? Shoe polish. Shoe polish on a baby? You're such an idiot. That's gonna. But look you wanted to tan him. Like shit. We'll see. D. Did you get kidnapped? Somebody came in and took him? There's a note. There's a note. Take it, baby. Meet at later bar, night or day, sometime. Oh my God, Charlie, where did you get a baby? Oh, I think you know good and well where I got this baby now, don't you? Love child here in the dumpster behind Patty's pub. What do you think I'm gonna find out? Charlie, the incident with Frank happened three months ago. It takes nine months to make a baby, so you can just give me the baby and stop screaming. You know they ruined it. You threw your babies away, and you threw your swords away. 
away. Give me the number for child services. I did. I, I saved the tree. You sure did. Oh man. my gosh. You saved that tree. Okay, guys. She's all yours. I banged your girlfriend. Pour me a shot there, D. I am the man. Are you so chipper? That I'm thinking about it. He pretty much just kind of acted like he was for the tree and just kind of got him back for talking mess to him. Organization. I banged his girlfriend. Hey, Frank, I... You recognize this young man right here? Oh. Who would like to hear a mind-blowing story? What the hell are you talking about, Charlie? I'm talking about you and the waitress dumping your baby in a dumpster. I'm an abortion survivor, Dad. I survived the abortion, Charlie. Dad. From mother is feeding you a line of crap. Holy shit, you guys kept the Alibaba sword? Give me a sword. That's the sword I want. There is way too much going on in this bar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this episode was a hot mess. Is I can't with Charlie, you guys. I just I just can't. I cannot with Charlie. Um and just when I feel like D is like the smart one in a sense, like the one that has like common sense sometimes, I'm like, D lets me down every episode almost. And I'm just like, girl, come on. I'm starting to feel like the the common sense that I thought D has, I feel Mac has. Like out of all four of them, I'm starting to feel like Mac is the smartest one, even though cause he's still like not. But out of all of them, I think Mac is the smartest one. Like Maybe I'm wrong, but in my opinion right now, that's the way it's looking. I feel like he has the most common sense. Charlie, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like Charlie is high on life. Like, you just never know what's going to happen with Charlie. Dennis and D are just Beavis and Butthead when they get together. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But in this one, this one, it didn't go that way. This one, Mac and D were both just a hot mess. And Dennis actually played the part and did what he did. And then Charlie just Charlie. Charlie and Frank is just Charlie and Frank. Like, there's there's no talking about that one. But I... I look, I'm going to say it again because I say it every episode. But you guys already know. They, they never fail to amaze me. Like, it gets crazier every freaking episode. But, you know what? I've made it this far. So, I, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to go further. So, without further ado, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments. This is a hot mess, but I love it. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Toodles.